back to Berlin uh, been driving 2,000 kilometers down from Finland to Germany and today I'm going to the tax in the infamous Helmet Pit. For sure the whole area is covered in uh, small objects that they give always good uh, signals and uh, mostly it's aluminium and junk but you never know that among that kind of small uh, objects down there that might be hidden something super cool. The day is beautiful, sun is shining, forest looks good as always and we'll see what is gonna happen. And in here I found the gas mask but it's in so bad shape that I think I'm not gonna be able to save it. We'll see about it, I try to bring it home but I can't promise anything about it. And finally, after of tens of ruined gas mask cases came one completely round the core the lead is broken but i think i can fix it and in here i got something that i believe is a, a dog tag but but there is no name on the top it's just the half but i don't know I think it is, but it has never been marked. Uh, first find today. I'm alone, and is I want is a common one in a place that has been a very lucky spot. At least not for me, but for some friend of mine, and I decided to come here to inspect a little bit more. So, uh, first find is a coin, and common find, and is a 10 penny from 1943. It is in quite good condition, and I take it as a lucky coin for my daily hunt. I was thinking it was an unlucky hunt because um, after thinking that the first coin I found immediately as soon as I got at 8 o'clock in the forest today was supposed to be my lucky coin. It hasn't been that much till now which is now is about three o'clock in the afternoon and I haven't been find anything or better to say absolutely nothing but now it came a surprise uh, after probably eating 600,000 spider webs getting bitten by a um, red ant and this kind of very pleasant things um, in the end, it came a surprise, very unexpected surprise, in a place that has been detected already by other people. And actually, I actually have to say, sadly, that whatever place I have been today, it has been completely detected by other people. But now it came up something unexpected and good, I guess. It's some kind of badge. I don't know what kind of badge. I have never seen it before. And check actually no it has a lion there is a lion in the back I have really no idea uh, from what from which country uh, it could be I will investigate for sure and I will let you know but hey come on this is lovely everybody uh, I'm detecting for my last day in Berlin I'm going to leave soon for another country and that is what you're going to see 
in the next videos I'm not going to give any more anticipation we'll say. I came back to the helmet pit in famous place a uh, lot of finds a lot of different finds uh, last time it, uh, it came coins from Denmark and Norway and I was thinking about some troops including some some people from uh, Scandinavian countries I found as the first find of the day one Polish coin uh, surprise didn't find any Polish coin before in this spot but uh, I started to investigate and after that it came more coins and the second I found it was a Russian one from 1904 and after that it came more and more so here you go I got three little German coins from Nazi time uh, 41 40 and 40 then 1904 from Russia as I said many Polish ones and two Italians uh, two Italian coins from 30s they are pretty classic I've been digging tons of them in Italy already and then an iron coin or something like that I will try to find out in ho at home what that is uh, what, the, what the thing that came to my mind uh, has been immediately uh, it has been the best thing that a metal detectorist uh, could find out uh, something like you are able to to have an idea about an, a story or something a person that has been here and has been traveling in many different countries probably has been in the host front the east front uh, because there is a Russian coin and probably has been through Poland uh, I guess it was German because Germans has been in Russia has been in Poland there is Nazi coins and Italians as well German where they're making a lot of where they're making a lot of trouble as well I don't know about the iron coin and then it came something more out of the ground so something that surprised me and made me pretending um, to have more ideas about what the story could be and I found something that I think it was inside inside the uniform in the inner side uh, or some it's some equipment that a person was was um, uh, bringing with it himself a uh, German name but then read, uh, it, it printed on the top Danzig which is a Polish city now could it be one of those ethnically German uh, soldiers that have been born uh, in Poland and after uh, and was so fighting for the Germans then that would be the reason maybe why this person was carrying with himself Polish coins and his story probably ended up in Berlin I don't know if he ever survived I found something I was hoping to find and the day is going great I found something that I never seen before so I don't know if it's German or whatever but it looks great and it's some kind of badge that is written 1940 there is whatever a flower from the mountains uh, an anchor and whoa, something else that could be part of a boat or a airplane I don't know I have to investigate about this I'm so happy about that I found the spot which even if I've been here a thousand times even with friends we have been detecting it so well but never say so well when you are still missing this 
super cool Nansaj. Uh We've written on the top Narvik and this is something really cool. Quite late. I have to leave the forest quite quite soon, and I will say goodbye with my last find for this day, uh, uh, for this episode of Reveal in the Past, Battle of Berlin, number eight. Uh, before to show this kind of little bit creepy looking find, uh, I want to. I want to mention a couple of people, of persons, because uh, they have been they have been part of this whole uh, detective thing, and, and they have been sharing uh, all the feelings and emotions when I found something. I've been sharing my time, and so I have really to say thanks. At first, uh, to my girlfriend, uh, her name is Ira Sofia, because she has been standing me quite a lot with this detective thing, spending many, many afternoons and mornings in the forest, and actually she has been uh, a great uh, detective mate as well. Um, and then she has been very patient when she didn't want to go, and I actually spent hours and hours in the forest so thank you and then uh, I want to say thanks to my other auntie mate uh, Manuele that has been many times on the battlefields with me uh, looking for uh, checking for stuff uh, we have been sharing our finds at the moment we found them and it has been actually great to spend time in the forest with him and as well his girlfriend Marta that, has, that came a couple of times with us as well and is always a very nice company as well then um, a very good luck uh, a very big good luck to, to our new hunting mate Lorenzo and I hope that he will have great finds here as soon as he will be able to, to get in the forest and detect. So, thanks to all of you who have been following, especially this Battle of Berlin episodes, but I hope you will enjoy also the other videos coming up with maybe a little bit older finds, and uh, I will start to detect in fields more than forest and not so much of World War II stuff. Here we have the creepy find and is a gas mask, German gas mask. In this area I've been find all of them destroyed. I think that this is the most intact one I have been finding. gas mask 